Will the audience please stand for the singing of our national anthem by Ms. Brianna Spruill. There she is. say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight O'er the ramparts we watched Were so gallantly streaming And the rocket's red glare The bombs bursting Please remain standing for the invocation by former CMU trustee, Mrs. Lena Elliott. Thank you. Let us pray. May God, dear God, as we celebrate this graduation, we thank you for giving our graduates the strength and the endurance that they needed to complete this journey. Graduates, may God bless you with confidence to seek your goals, comfort in difficult days, beauty for your eyes to see, faith so that you will believe, patience so you will know the truth and most of all may God give you love because that will bring you the greatest joy and lasting friendships in his name we pray amen please be seated <laughs> we will now have the placing of the mace by CMU Faculty Senate President, Mr. Josh Butler, Associate Professor of Art. With the placing of the mace in its cradle, I declare the seventh winter commencement ceremony of Colorado Mace University formally open. <laughs> Honored guests, graduates, friends, and relatives of our 500 and 91 graduates of the 2017 winter class who are being awarded degrees today, welcome. In this, our institution's 92nd year, we are gathered to honor these graduates for their academic achievement at Colorado Mesa University. The graduation ceremony is rooted in tradition and symbolism with the awarding of academic degrees dating back to the 12th century. As part of that history, the mace serves as a symbol of institutional authority and the chain of the presidential office originating in the Middle Ages is a symbol of self-governance and academic freedom. Likewise, the history of academic regalia dates back to the 1400s and evolved from clerical dress with the primary function being warmth. Robes vary in terms of fabric, length, sleeves, and chevrons, 
all of which denotes specific aspects of the degrees earned. The colored hood also vary based on degree and academic discipline. The cords and medallions denote graduation honors. I would now like to introduce some special guests. I ask that they please stand and if you will remain standing and hold your applause, then we'll uh, welcome them all at once. Mrs. Pat Bishop, wife of board member Tilly Bishop. You have to stand up, Patricia, there you go. Ms. Mr. Sean Bolton, Rio Blanco County Commissioner. Mr. Greg Caton, Grand Junction City Manager. Mr. Brian Davidson, St. Mary's Hospital CEO. Brian, you did hire one of the two twins who graduated with a nursing degree. The other one's waiting for your yes that you're going to hire her. <laughs> Ms. Phyllis Norris, Grand Junction City Council member. Mr. Paul Pitton and his wife Carla, District 51 school board member. Ms. Rose Buglisi, who's up in the box, Mesa County Commissioner. Bonnie Sonnenberg, also up in the boxes, wife of Senator Jerry Sonnenberg. Mr. Rick Taggart, Mayor, City of Grand Junction. Mr. Frank Widden, man, you're popular here, Rick. Mr. Frank Whidden, Mesa County Manager, and we also have an Emeriti faculty with us today who donated our praying mantis, Dr. Bruce Bowerly, Professor of Biology. Thank you all, and a round of applause, please. <laughs> Next, I'd like to recognize this year's faculty marshals, and hold your applause again until we've announced all of them. Dr. Gigi Richard, recipient of the Distinguished Faculty Award for 2017. Mr. Josh Butler, Faculty Senate President. Dr. Kristen Haig, Faculty Senate President-elect. You guys are supposed to be standing up wherever you are. Um, Dr. James Ayers, Faculty Senate Vice President, and Dr. Dan schultz Ela, Faculty Senate Secretary. Thank you for being our marshals today. These faculty, as well as more than 600 full and part-time faculty members, administrators, and staff have supported today's graduates on their pathway to this milestone event. Join me in acknowledging their coll collective contributions to our graduate success. Yeah. I would now like to introduce members of the University's Board of Trustees and Administration who are part of the platform party. I ask they stand as I read their names and remain standing until everyone has been recognized. Trustee Betty Bechtel, Chair of the Board of Trustees. Trustee David Reed, Vice Chair of the Board. Trustee Tilly Bishop. Trustee Dan Robinson. Trustee Joan Ringel. Trustee Bob Wilson. Faculty Trustee Dr. Chad Middleton. Former Trustee Lena Elma Elliott, who you've already met. President of the CMU Alumni Association, Ms. Karen Martsoff, Senator Jerry Sonnenberg, Dr. Cynthia Pemberton, Vice President for Academic Affairs, Mr. John Marshall, Vice President for Student Services, and Mr. Dennis Bailey, Vice President for Community College Affairs. Now please welcome Trustee Betty Bechtel, who will offer greetings on behalf of the CMU Board of Trustees. I need that piece of height just to see you. President Foster, members of the board, faculty and staff, family and friends, and the graduating class members, a hearty welcome to the winter 2017 commencement ceremonies. I know that many of you in the audience have come from near and come from far. I've spoken with people today that came from California, and I bet there's some New Yorkers and all over the place. We are here this morning because something significant is happening in each of your lives today. So significant that I'm betting you are never going to forget this day. 
50 years from now, when most of you are 70-ish, and I'm 121, <laughs> you'll still recall the day you graduated from CMU. Your memory may be short on the details, like uh, you'll never remember what all of us are saying up here. Probably that'll last till about noon, but um, <laughs> you will remember the sense of accomplishment you felt. You'll remember how proud your family and friends were of your accomplishment. You'll remember walking across the stage, and don't trip, don't make it memorable because you trip, just you'll remember walking across the stage and shaking hands with President Foster as he hands you that degree, certificate, diploma, and these memories, I promise, will bring a smile to your face. This is a good day for all of us. On behalf of the Board of Trustees, thank you for wanting to further your education and then making the sacrifices of time, money, and sleep necessary to complete what you started. Thank you for selecting CMU, where the faculty is supreme Absolutely. The facilities are top notch, and the Alumni Association is eager to sign you up for a lifetime membership. You've made all of us proud. Thank you so much, and welcome. Next, to offer a welcome is CMU Associated Student Government, Government Senator. Mr. Kevin Kahuna, and Kevin will be introduced by ASG President, Mr. Ben Lindsay. Good morning. It's an absolute honor to introduce a fellow Maverick who has touched so many hearts of those sitting in this room as well as myself and others on this campus, Kevin Kahuena. Kevin Kahuena uh, came to CMU from Kailua, Hawaii to receive a bachelor's in business administration with concentrations in finance, hospitality management, and management, and he hopes to work in the travel and tourism industry shortly after graduation. Kevin has taken on various roles throughout his time at CMU, impacting residence life, student life, and the business department. Some of his most rewarding positions include HPA president, ASG Pro professional studies senator, and an RA for seven semesters. CMU's study abroad program enabled Kevin Kahuena the opportunity to study in Tokyo, Japan for a semester, allowing him to further his academic and cultural uh, and professional business involvement. Kevin was also afforded the opportunity to attend the Colorado Capital Conference, where he represented CMU at our nation's capital in Washington, D.C. In the words of Kevin, it has been an honor to work with CMU students, dedicating, many their, dedicating their experiences on and off campus to make sure that it's healthy community-oriented and unforgettable fun. Kahoen is differing roles on campus as a student leader. The opportunities as a student that seem to have found him uh, has found this Hawaiian native uh, happy to be a maverick. Kevin Kahoen. Good morning, family, friends, and the graduating class of Colorado Mesa University 2017. We finally made it! For some of us, actually let's be real, for most of us, this day couldn't have come any faster. For all of us, we have changed while being here. Our values and morals have been tested and sometimes changed while here. I want to take the time to tell you all a story. A story that roots itself in the very foundation of this country, myself, and my fellow Hawaiian Mavericks. This story talks about the values of serving others. In 1896, the last reigning queen of the monarch of Hawaii, Queen Niliokalani, was held prisoner in her own palace. She was cut off from the world and her people. Language, culture, and pride was lost. Hawaiians were on the brink of extinction. In the span of two generations, my family has lost our language, our culture, and our pride as well. We lost our self-identity and struggled to survive as Hawaiians in the 21st century. I stand before all of you today 
as the first Native Hawaiian in my family to graduate for, from a four-year university. This could not have been possible without the help of Colorado Mesa University. Just two generations ago, my grandfather was beat in schools for speaking his native language. I once stood at the doorsteps of a stranger's home, as I was to call it my own home. I was about to enter the foster care system for the next year of my life. I realized in that moment that there was them and there was me. But most importantly, how I was gonna use them to help me reach my dreams. It was because of remarkable people like that and CMU that I stand here before you all today, having the opportunity to travel the world and study abroad in Japan, made possible by Colorado Mesa University. I stand before you today having, having the opportunity to visit the White House of the United States of America with President Foster and John Marshall, made possible by Colorado Mesa University. It is because of people like you, my fellow Mavericks, that my dreams are finally coming true. It is because of people like the ones who stand behind me today that my dreams are finally coming true as well. The Board of Trustees, administration, the faculty and staff of Colorado Mesa University. You see, this story isn't about how I served others in the past few years with various leadership positions here. It is about how you all have, serv have been servant leaders for me. Colorado Mesa University is the greatest university I have ever seen. It has given me so many remarkable opportunities. It is a place that people like me can come to and thrive. I could not have been more grateful for my time here at CMU and everyone has contributed to my success. In the words of my ancestors, ahu vale ke, oh, let's start that again. Ahu vale kapookela ikau hana ia hai. It is through the ways you serve others that your greatness will be felt. Mahalo ke akua, mahalo Colorado Mesa University, and most importantly, mahalo my Mavericks. Our final welcome comes from Ms. Karen Martsoff, president of the CMU Alumni Association. Karen is the Director of Marketing, Communications, and Fund Development for Community Hospital. She spent the last six years teaching at CMU as an adjunct instructor of mass communications. She graduated from Colorado Mesa University in 1997, then Mesa State College, with a mass communications degree and a concentration in public or relations. Karen holds a master's degree from Kent State University in journalism and mass communications. She has over 20 years of experience in sales, marketing and communications, and has worked in both the public and private sectors throughout her career. I hope you'll welcome Karen Martsoff. Colorado Mesa University, class of 2017. It's an honor to speak briefly to you this morning. First and foremost, graduates, on behalf of the Colorado Mesa University Alumni Association, congratulations. I remember what it took to be in your seat, and now you can proudly say as you join the ranks of CMU alumni, been there, done that. And just how many CMU alumni are there? You are now one of more than 34,000 active alumni members in our network. Our alums are represented in all 50 states and multiple foreign countries. Most importantly, our CMU alumni members are an active group of engaged constituents in their circles and communities. I encourage you to stay involved in this group. You may think your days of attending football games and campus events are over, but that couldn't be further from the truth. Our alumni board hosts events coast to coast to help you stay connected with your alumni and continue to move Colorado Mesa University forward. To help you stay connected, here are just a few simple ways that you can get involved. You can now join a local chapter of your CMU Alumni Association. We have chapters in Montrose, Denver, San Diego. We have a football chapter. We have an MBA chapter. 
So we want you to stay involved. You can also make sure that your information is up to date in the My Mesa portal. That information is in your diploma packet today. And when you snap that selfie while hiking a 14er, or you win the Nobel Prize, be sure to let us know so we can highlight you and your accomplishments in the Maverick Magazine. On this day, when your life opens up with possibility, I hope you relentlessly pursue those possibilities, all of them. There may be times when a supervisor or a coworker asks you to do something that may not seem directly related to your training. Take it on. Be curious. Be helpful. Go above and beyond. A job or a task may present itself that you feel is beneath you or your training. Take it on. I guarantee you all of the pieces of the puzzle will fall into place later. The connections that you have made here at CMU, the certification that you have earned today will propel you forward. I would like to share with you my favorite quote by Mark Twain that I share with my students every semester. 20 years from now, you will be more disappointed by the things you didn't do than by the ones you did do. So throw off the bow lines. Sail away from the safe harbor. Catch the trade winds in your sails. Explore. Dream. Discover. Take it from me. 20 years flies by faster than you can ever imagine. So don't take anything for granted. Don't be afraid to slowly climb the ladder to your ultimate success. It will be worth every step. Again, on behalf of the CMU Alumni Association, I congratulate you. And I look forward to helping you stay connected with Colorado Mesa University. Go Mavs! At today's commencement, we would like to offer a few vignettes highlighting some of today's graduates. As we share your story, we ask that you please stand so you can be recognized. Taylor Bruno. Taylor has earned a 3.72 GPA as an exercise science student with a minor in psychology. She not only excelled in the classroom, but also as a captain of the CMU women's soccer team. Taylor's a positive light in every room that she enters and will move forward pursuing a doctorate degree in occupational therapy at Murphy Deming College of Health Sciences in Virginia. Taylor applied to five schools, went out to Virginia for the interview, loved the school and professors, and was offered a spot in the OTD class starting June of 2018. About graduating and going on to pursue her doctorate, Taylor noted she has loved her time at CMU and is very excited for my next journey. Congratulations, Taylor. Chris Pack. Chris graduates today with a Bachelor of Science in Environmental Science and a double major in Biology and Watershed Science. Chris came to CMU after a 20-year career in the military. Thank you for your service, Chris. While serving his country, he earned two bronze stars, along with several other medals as a military intelligence officer. As a student, Chris has distinguished himself by participating in three different research projects focused on local water resources and rare plants, in addition to being an honor student. Chris has three young children and somehow finds time to train for ultra marathons. Good luck, Chris. Jenna Wadley. Jenna graduates today with a BA in theater design and a BFA in dance. Jenna stage managed My Fair Lady brilliantly, according to our theater and dance department head, who went on to say she did so as well as many professional main stage managers I've ever worked with in the past. She also appeared in many of the fall dance concerts performance all while maintaining a 3.63 GPA. 
Congratulations, Jenna. Your talents in and out of the classroom have proven to be nothing less than extraordinary. Ada Marie Vorse. Ada Marie graduates today with a 3.49 GPA in our first LPN to BSN. That's Licensed Practical Nurse to Bachelor of Science in Nursing Program. Ada Marie became a licensed practical nurse in 1986. She worked for six years in hospitals throughout the Northwest. Then she and her husband started a family and moved to Grand Junction. After homeschooling her two sons, who went on to take classes at Western Colorado Community College, Ada Marie returned to work and began taking classes at what was then Mesa State College. Today marks a milestone in her career as she graduates with a Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Congratulations, Ada Marie. Somebody else is supposed to stand up, but I can't hear you. Oh, well, they need to stand up then. Her kids graduate today, too. Congratulations, guys. That's fun. Our graduates today have invited Dr. Gigi Richard, professor of geology, as today's guest speaker. Dr. Richard received her Bachelor of Science in Civil Engineering from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology with a concentration in water resources and environmental engineering. She went on to earn her Master's of Science and PhD degrees in Civil Engineering from Colorado State University in the Hydraulic Engineering Program. As a Professor of Geology and Faculty Director of the CMU Ruth Powell Hutchins Water Center, Dr. Richard created CMU's Watershed Science Program and teaches water science, environmental geology, and GIS courses. Dr. Richard was CMU's distinguished faculty member for 2017. Gigi. Good morning. Good morning, graduates. And thank you, President Foster, and thank you to Associated Student Governments for honoring me with the privilege of speaking with you all today. And I also want to extend a big thank you to all my amazing and wonderful colleagues who, without your support, it wouldn't be possible for me to be here talking to you today as the distinguished faculty this year. Um, so I'm an engineer, and giving inspiring speeches is definitely not my forte. I tend to be pretty straight to the point and tend to talk really fast in the process. So hopefully I can share with you a few things I've learned today from my career studying water and rivers around the world and about how water and rivers can bring us together. And I'm going to use a river analogy. Um, my goal is to do this in about five minutes. Uh, but you might need to be a little patient, because rivers are never straight. And the story will meander and even might be a bit muddy at times. So, um, so our river story begins uh, when I was a graduate student at school at Colorado State University in Fort Collins. And I was studying rivers. And I was learning to kayak. And I was single parenting a toddler. Um, my classmates and I would often entertain ourselves during ha Friday happy hour by coming up with analogies between rivers and running rivers and our life experiences. I don't think there was any life experience that we could not find a river analogy for. So for example, finals week was a raging flood out of control that makes the rapids really challenging and leaves you exhausted and sometimes a bit battered. And maybe that night that you stayed up partying a little too much, the night before your final exam, that was running a rapid where you might have picked a bad line and you might have ended up swimming and rolling and <laughs> things didn't work out exactly the way you wanted. So these analogies helped, make, helped us make sense of life and helped us navigate our daily challenges of school, work, and relationships. And the first big lesson I learned from running rivers that helped, has helped me immensely over the years in many aspects of my life is to focus on what, where you want to go and not on the big rock or the big keeper hole that you want to avoid. If you focus on that rock, you'll find yourself headed straight to the rock. But if you focus on the line that you want to take, whether you're skiing in the trees at Powderhorn or mountain biking at Lunch Loops or navigating through life's rapids, maintaining your focus on where you want to get will help you get there. And I think that it's helped you get here. 
You've paddled through the class five rapids of your degree, and it might not have been pretty. You might have rolled, lost your paddle, swam a bit, but you made it. So what's next? So that leads us to the next part of my river analogy, and it involves eddies. So eddies are the recirculating pools on the sides of rivers um, that can be great places when you're boating to stop and rest, catch up with friends, regroup, take a breath. But occasionally, if the river's current is really strong, you can, it can, get, you can get stuck in an eddy, and it can be really difficult to get out. It's a bit counterintuitive, but the way you get out of an eddy is actually to paddle upstream and lean downriver, lean into the current. So similarly in life, sometimes we found ourselves stuck in an eddy. Swirling in indecision and uncertainty, we might, the solution might be that we need to point our boat in a different direction. And despite our fears of what might happen, be willing to lean in to wherever the river will take you. For me, pointing my boat in a different direction after graduate school and leaning in led me to New Zealand for a one-year postdoc. Now, as a single mom with a then six-year-old daughter embarking on this adventure, left me feeling like, more like I was sitting at the top of a five-meter waterfall about to launch without my paddle. But my year in New Zealand turned out to be a pretty wonderful water adventure. And this is where my story is going to meander a bit to the South Pacific. Um, New Zealand is called Aotearoa by the native Maori people. And Aotearoa means land of the long white cloud. It's a very well-deserved name. The south coast, the west, west coast of the South Island where my study site was, on average re receives 30 feet of rainfall a year. Now we get nine inches of rain a year here, so 30 feet. Um, it makes this land a really wonderful place to study water and rivers. And culturally, the Maori people are very connected to their natural world, including their water and their rivers. And in Maori, they, they love proverbs, and they have some sayings related to water. And two of those sayings are, te mana o te wao, te wai, and te mana o te awa. And these mean that your water is your power, your river is your power. And they even acknowledge that all of us, all humans, are all about two-thirds water. And because of that, we are all the same. They don't see a difference between one person and another because we are all similarly made of water. And when Maori people formally greet Maori people in a ceremony, they recite their formal story or their formal genealogy. And I'm going to share with you the Maori word for this story. The, the word begins with the letters WH in Maori, which is the sound of the letter F in English. And I just want to brace you, so. <laughs> so the word for the Maori story is your whakapapa. <laughs> and your whakapapa is the story, the history of your ancestors and the history of which waka or canoe that you arrived on. But it also includes the story of your mountain and the story of your river and the story of your water. So for example, my whakapapa includes the Mississippi River, which flows through the city of New Orleans, where I grew up, and the Charles River in Boston, where I went to my, uh, for, did my undergrad, and the Cache La Poudre in Fort Collins, where I learned to kayak. And now, the rivers of western Colorado, the Yampa, the Gunnison, the, the Dolores, and of course, most importantly, the Colorado, where I study and work today. So now, we all have something in common in our whakapapa. All of you graduates and I, we have a shared river in Grand Junction, the Colorado River. So how many of you have had the opportunity to inner tube, stand up paddleboard, kayak, woo, yeah, <laughs> on the Colorado River in town? So whether it's the Colorado or another river, many of us have that personal connection to a river and to water. And it's part of our life story, our Faka Papa. And we all are essentially water. Which leads me to my final lesson, my final river analogy. And that is, when you're running a river, it is not easy, and actually it's often even dangerous to go it alone. Neither river running nor life is a solo sport. Someone has to run the shuttle. Our friends and family help us when we lose our paddles. They help us find our gear. They help us get back in our boat after a nasty swim. They're also there to give us a high five and celebrate with us at the end of an awesome run. And graduation is one such moment. So let's take a moment right now, all of you, to say thank you to your friends and family who've run shuttle for you, caught your boat when you were swimming in rapid, and who are celebrating with you right now. Give your pal next to you a hug or a pat on the back. Wave to your parents, blow a kiss, say thanks to your professors. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
So <laughs> graduating today may feel like you're about to go off of a really big waterfall. But don't worry, you have a paddle. And I have confidence that you're prepared with the skills and the gear, and most importantly, the friends that you'll need. With what you've learned at your time at CMU, you've got a maneuverable boat, a strong paddle, a great flotation device, and a helmet. And your friendships with your fellow students and the faculty and the staff that you've met at CMU. So just remember, focus on where you want to go and not on the obstacles and fears ahead of you. Be willing to lean into the current and see where the river will take you. And most importantly, remember that CMU and the Colorado River are now part of your Whakapapa. And stay connected with your new CMU family. Thank you, congratulations, and good luck. And now we have a musical selection with CMU music major, Mr. David Seaman, singing Granada by Augustine Lara. great pleasure to announce and award an honorary degree. Honorary degrees indicate that the person receiving the degree is learned in the field of public service and has performed outstanding public service without having completed courses of formal instruction, study, preparation, or training. 
The Board may approve an honorary degree upon the President's recommendation, which includes justification for the award. During its November 2017 meeting, the CMU Board of Trustees approved awarding Senator Jerry Sonnenberg the honorary degree Master of Arts in Public Policy, Honoris Casa. Through this award, the Colorado Mesa University Board of Trustees formally recognizes the exceptional con contributions of Senator Jerry Sonnenberg in the areas of public service and policy. Having served in both houses of the Colorado General Assembly for many years, Senator Sonnenberg is a leader and tireless advocate for rural Colorado. A Colorado native, Senator Sonnenberg has been farming and ranching in northeastern Colorado his entire life. He continues to live and work on the same family farm that both his father and he were raised on. Senator Sonnenberg was first elected to the Colorado House of Representatives in 2006. After serving eight years in the House, Senator Sonnenberg was elected to represent Senate District 1 in the Colorado Senate in 2014. At present, he serves as President Pro Tem of the Colorado Senate and has been a strong advocate for the infrastructure and higher education as a member of the Capital Development Committee. A rare legislator, capable of marrying rhetoric with accomplishment, Senator Jerry Sonnenberg is deserving of this honor. It was Senator Sonnenberg who brokered the final solution to the hospital provider fee, which has saved, I think, much of Colorado. He's made a lasting impact on rural Colorado in general and Colorado Mesa University in particular. Senator Sonnenberg, we ask you to step forward to receive the academic vestige signifying your honorary degree. I would have to say to you that he probably lives as far from Grand Junction as any legislator in Colorado, and yet for some strange reason has really helped us with all, a lot of the building projects that we've had. Yeah, exactly. At this time, Trustee Tilly Bishop will join me to recognize our associate degree graduates with distinction. Dr. Cynthia Pembleton will then present the candidates for certificate and associate degrees. Good morning, about to be graduates. Yeah, I can't seem to get too much uh, enthusiasm out of you. Let's try it again. Congratulations, about to be graduates. Hey, hey, that's right. Okay. President Foster, parents, students. The meaning of the associate degree designation are as follows. High distinction, 3.75, cumulative grade point average or higher. Distinguished, 3.5 to 3.74, cumulative grade point average. While the associate degree candidates graduating with high distinction, will you please rise There you go. Will the associate degree candidates graduating with distinction please rise? It gives me a great pleasure to honor these candidates. Their accomplishments reflect a commitment to academic excellence. Please join me in applauding our associate degree candidates. Thank you. Well, hello, graduates. As Vice President for Academic Affairs, I have the honor and privilege of presenting the degree candidates as indicated in the program. Following each candidate present, presentation, the president will confer the degrees. Once we have conferred all degrees, 
we will ask students to come to the platform by degree level to receive their, reward, their award. To begin, will the candidates for technical certificates, associate's degrees, please rise. <laughs> President Foster, as prescribed by the faculty and, and Colorado Mesa University Board of Trustees, the academic records of these candidates that you see standing have been examined. And based on this review and the recommendations of the faculty and the heads of the academic and technical departments, these candidates are deemed to be qualified to receive their degree award. They have fulfilled the requirements for graduation for Associate of Arts, Associate of Applied Science, Associate of Science, and professional or technical certificates. Therefore, President Foster, I recommend the awarding of their degree or certificate. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees, I hereby confer upon each of you the degree you have earned, technical certificate, associates of arts degree, associates of science degree, or associate of applied science degree, with all rights, duties, honors, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. Congratulations. You may be seated in a few minutes. We'll have you come up and actually receive your degree on the platform. Dan Robinson will now join me to introduce graduating students who have completed coursework as part of our academic honors program. Academic honors programs offer CMU students enriched studies in their academic majors. Honors requirements vary by academic program, but each includes opportunities for students to actively engage in advanced study through coursework and a capstone project that inc can include research or creative work presented in a scholarly venue. Today, we have three baccalaureate candidates who have completed the university's academic honors program requirements. I ask that they stand as we recognize their accomplishments. Spencer Edelman, Bachelor of Science in Accounting. <laughs> Brenna Croker, Bachelor of Science in Accounting. And Jessa Scala, Bachelor of Science, Biology, and Secondary Education in Biology. Thank you. You may be seated. We now recognize our baccalaureate GPA honor graduates, and trustee Joan Ringel will join me to recognize these individuals. Good morning. It's my privilege to help recognize some of incredibly hardworking students who will be graduating with honors. Those graduating summa cum laude with highest honors have a cumulative grade point average of 3.9 or higher. Those graduating magna cum laude with high honors have a cumulative grade point average of 3.75 to 3.89, and those graduating cum laude with honors have GPAs of 3.5 to 3.74. At this time, I ask those individuals to stand and be recognized. Will the candidates graduating summa cum laude please rise? You may be seated. Will those graduating magna cum laude please rise? You may be seated. And those graduating cum laude, you please rise. Thank you, you may be seated.
Will all the candidates for baccalaureate degrees please stand? <laughs> President Foster, I present to you that the academic records of these candidates have been examined and that they have fulfilled the requirements for graduation for Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Applied Science, Bachelor of Business Administration, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Bachelor of Science, or Bachelor of Science in Nursing degrees as prescribed by the faculty and Colorado Mesa University Board of Trustees. Therefore, based on their recommendations, these candidates are qualified to receive their award. President Foster, I recommend the awarding of their degrees. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees, I hereby confer upon each of you the appropriate baccalaureate degrees with all rights, duties, honors, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. Congratulations. You two can please be seated and we'll have you up here in just a moment. So now David Reed will join me to recognize the graduates completing a bachelor's degree in the CMU-CU Boulder Engineering Partnership Program. Good morning. Please join me in recognizing the accomplishments of Mr. Andrew South, Bachelor of Science in Mechanical Engineering. Andrew, congratulations. And now, it's time to present and recognize the candidates for graduate degrees. Will the candidates for graduate certificates of master's degrees please stand? <laughs> President Foster, I am pleased to relay that the academic records of these candidates have been examined and they have fulfilled the requirements for graduation for certificates in education, Master of Arts in Education, and Master of Science in Nursing degrees. Therefore, as prescribed by the faculty and Colorado Mesa University Board of Trustees, and based on the recommendations of the faculty and the heads of academic departments, they are deemed qualified to receive their award. Therefore, President Foster, I recommend the awarding of the appropriate certificate or degree. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees, I hereby confer upon you the appropriate graduate certificate or master's degree with all rights, duties, honors, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. Thank you very much, and please be seated. And finally, it is my honor and distinct privilege to present the candidates for CMU doctoral degrees. Will the candidates for Doctor of Nursing Practice please rise? Yeah. <laughs> President Foster, the academic records of these candidates have been examined and they have fulfilled the requirements for the graduation for the Doctor of Nurse Practice degree as prescribed by the faculty and the Colorado Mesa University Board of Trustees. Based on these recommendations and the recommendations of the nursing faculty and the health sciences director, we deem them qualified to receive their award. I therefore recommend to you, President Foster, the awarding of the Doctor of Nursing Practice degree to these candidates. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees, I hereby confer upon you the Doctor of Nursing Practice degree with all rights, duties, honors, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. Congratulations. And to all of those here, I would like to say that 
you have witnessed probably a singularly unique thing that you get to witness at Colorado Mesa University, which is certificate, the conference of certificate degrees, associate degrees, bachelor's degrees, master's degrees, and doctoral degrees in one place and in one venue. So congratulations to each and every one of you. And now I ask our graduates to come forward by road to the platform to receive their diplomas. While our marshals direct our graduates to the platform, Dr. Arthur Houle will perform Etude in A flat major, Opus 25, number one, by Frederick Chopin. We have a photographer down here. You're welcome to come and take pictures as well. There's a photographic opportunity out in the hallway. Just be mindful that as your graduate's coming, then you need to get out of the way so the next person can catch theirs. But they're also taking pictures and you can get those pictures from them later. So we'll get started with the reason you came. Bradley T. Morgan, with distinction. Lauren Stephanie Elaine Thorpe. Amanda Perez. Christopher Jade Green Lohr. Sebastian Nevin. Connie L. Clark with high distinction. Samantha Jean Main with distinction. One name, sorry, Paul. Merritt Salmons Martin. Jessica Alexandra Mebin. Rhiannon Schroeder. Lacey James Major with high distinction. Nicholas A. Carbone Marin. Katie Devine. Yeah. 
Shannon Wolcott. Cole Wildy. Alba Lucia Carrasco. Rodolfo Devora. Kuba Gewat. You too. Christopher E. Kincaid with high distinction. Daniel Palmer with high distinction. Michela Greer. Yolanda L. Feisner. Courtney Renee Schmelz. Adriana Ramos Gonzalez with high distinction. Thane Z. Wilson. Edgar Manuel Ruiz. Jennifer Ann Ortiz. Candice Jordan Van Dyne. Christine L. Hayden with high distinction. <laughs> Melissa Elliott. Susan Marie Moore with distinction. Gregorio M. Maris. Amy Sims. Danielle Scowden. Brianne Norred. Cynthia Anderson Lee. Julie Elizabeth Roan. We will now award the diplomas to our bachelor degree candidates. Heather Lauren Game. Brittany Hoppy, cum laude. Patrick M. Clements. Brene Crum, cum laude. Kevin Nee Moore Dreyer, cum laude. Sarah Diane Rogers, summa cum laude. Bettina K. Buttermore. Crystal Merton, cum laude. Zachary Denny. Michael David Samuelson. Abigail Lindsay Young, cum laude. Tiffany Mathers. Bryceland J. Simpson Schultz, cum laude. Cody Andrew Duran. Charles Alexander, cum laude. Justin Wayne Squire, magna cum laude. Jenny Ray Claypool, cum laude. Phoebe Johnson, cum laude. Katrina Jean Mapp, magna cum laude. Tiffany Nicole Yowl, cum laude. 
Savannah Marie Logston, cum laude. Caitlin Delane Bishop, magna cum laude. Miranda L. Rowe, cum laude. Morgan Rose Thomas. Deidre Marie Wagoner, cum laude. Jacqueline Kimberly Motley, magna cum laude. Mandy Renee Bushta, cum laude. Colton Ristow. Megan Nicole Mortvit, cum laude. Molly C. Mitchell. Ashley Oshner, cum laude. Amparo Ramos, magna cum laude. Jessica M. Creasy. Audrey Lee Callahan. Allison K. Bukacek. Catherine Marie Chapman Bremner. Marissa Bradley, magna cum laude. Catherine Victoria Gerstmar. Caleb Bergeser, cum laude. Kelsey Marie Lamar, cum laude. Brittany N. Kelleher, cum laude. Madison May Day, cum laude. Dana Rose Kallenbach, cum laude. Alexis Mendez. Alexandra Milo. Kevin Connor Flanagan, cum laude. Blake Elizabeth Adams, magna cum laude. Michael Love, summa cum laude. Sierra Jean Colson. Meredith K. Wirtz, magna cum laude. Karen K. Schumann, cum laude. Sarah Marie Rome, cum laude. Destiny Brooke McGee, summa cum laude. Lane Morgan Bullwan, summa cum laude. Teal Two Clouds Hawkins. Michaela Ann Knickerbocker. Tyler J. Myers. Joshua C. Stover. Daniel A. Allen. Caleb Michael Hardaway. Carly Igo. David Keith Anderson. Okay. Gabriella Dawn Amarelli. Elias Stedman. 
Thomas Tintori. Is it Armitage? Armitage? Okay. Sean Garrett Armitage. John Pirelli Kresge. Yeah. <laughs> Austin James Roberts. Eric Narcisco Almazar. <laughs> Melissa Jane Armstrong. Courtney Joe Agan. Melanie Lynn Chandler. <laughs> Connie Yoko Kim. <laughs> Kai or Anthony Kamainu Cavallari. Lami Hatsunami Lizami. <laughs> Maniha Mitsuno Quinn. Kealu Vayanu Drago. Okay. Kevin M. Kahu Mehan. Oh, good. Thank you. <laughs> David K. Gonzalez. Stephen Scott Finley. Okay. Waika Chu. Tyler Thomas Fitzgerald. Logan D. Harrison Sumanku Laude. Is it Yurik? Carl Patrick Yurik Cum Laude. Okay. Allison Darnell Magna Cum Laude. Kelby Lee Bridell. Sean Ellis Weston, magnum cum laude. Jenna A. Wadley, cum laude. Lauren Lisa Miranda, cum laude. Courtney Lee Schwander, cum laude. Okay. Taylor Nicole Allen, magna cum laude. Jacob Story, cum laude. Joseph Gonzalez. Megan Aline Wood Vorst, magna cum laude. Joshua Ward Vorse. Ada Marie Winters Vorse. Keo. Okay. Keo Kalili Kanini, cum laude. Randy Lee Overtooth, cum laude. Chancely Fink. Peter James Ray, cum laude. Jessa K. Scala, cum laude. 
Zachary Lincoln Har, cum laude. Gabriela Diaz. Cricket Rianne Elderman, cum laude. Spencer James Alderman, summa cum laude. Sarah Highline, summa cum laude. Brenna Croker, magna cum laude. Jessica Ross. Tyler Fitzwater. Are you taking over? Okay. Brianna Yvette Thorne. Brandon Scott Hind. Lucas Mandic. Austin T. Fleer. Ian Richard Johnston. Molly Hoisington, summa cum laude. Danielle Riggs, magna cum laude. Mrs. Carly R. Briley, cum laude. Mr. Jason Briley, cum laude. Setsi Jimenez Mendez, cum laude. Ryan Christopher Carroll. Cameron Shea Hanen, cum laude. Zoe Elizabeth Berg, cum laude. Carly Alice Riva, summa cum laude. Aaron J. Hicks, magna cum laude. Benjamin Coyle, magna cum laude. Jacob Reed Gardner. Braylon Reddick, cum laude. William Christian Messier. Charles Lincoln. Kiana Ziola. Ashley Ray Hofer, cum laude. Dannon N. Bolton. Connor A. Travis, magna cum laude. Jacinda R. DuPont. Christopher D. Pack, summa cum laude. Sheridan Olivia Hackis. Brooke Elizabeth Bierman, cum laude. Shauna S. Minnick. Connor D. Thompson, cum laude. Summer Madison Geenap. Logan Wakefield McLennan. Jonathan L. Marker, magna cum laude. Elizabeth Ann Cripps, cum laude. Joanne Tao Rowe, cum laude. Yeah. 
Sofia A. Suarez, cum laude. Ong Lakpa Sherpa, cum laude. Bobby Makinani Iwana Iwamato, magna cum laude. Kayla Lyle, summa cum laude. Rachel. Rachel Lyle, magna cum laude. McCall Bridger Chapman, magna cum laude. Audra Marie Hegberg, magna cum laude. Connor Hayden Stubbitz. Bethany Rose Childs, cum laude. Catherine Kirby, cum laude. Caitlin Olson, cum laude. Grayson Young, magna cum laude. Amber Lynn Pagone, magna cum laude. Kelby Ann Stahl, cum laude. Meg Robinson. Lainey Pierce, cum laude. Chandra. Chandra Eliza Prophet. Taylor Ann Evans, cum laude. Joanna Suarez. Alisa Esmeralda Murillo. Marcos Irigoyen Silva. Alec Johnson. Danielle, Daniel Hennessy Grave. Tyler Gorski. Mitch Robinson. Tanner Leroy Lee. Javier Garcia. Eric Schmidt, cum laude. Austin J. Dale. Sarah Janae Davis, cum laude. Rebecca Brown, summa cum laude. Tira Lee Niebling, magna cum laude. Krista Ferguson, cum laude. Caitlin S. Habert, cum laude. Devin P. Frieda, magna cum laude. Marcus Dante Manarola. Brett A. Payton. Robert O. Imhoff, cum laude. Leah Denise Edson, cum laude. Aubrey Lee Campbell, summa cum laude. Tamara Lynn Newland. Taylor Alicia Bruno, cum laude. Matthew Key. Trevor P. McCune. 
William Berg. Ashley Ray Gerald. Wiley McAllister. Gwendolyn Elaine Reed Sessions. Jared A. Schmidt. Andrew Warhurst II. Anahit Fernandez. Nicole Ashley Marie Bell. Joey Ashley Ritter. Jordan Taylor Smith. Brooke Nicole Lucero. Ashika E. Smith. Esmeralda Lukeen. Emily R. Vandevender. Abigail Rose Thompson, magna cum laude. Samantha Dawn Flowers. Cassandra Caperton, magna cum laude. Rashid Hussein. Michael Harris, summa cum laude. Nicholas Carter Gukin, cum laude. Cody Richard Spencer. Akello Alay. Amanda E. Iron. Sarah Wetzbarger. Andrew Davis Bell. Spencer Stephen Oswald. Ashley Marie Pennington. Christina Marie Pierce, cum laude. Jonathan M. Hicks. Karina Lorraine Shield, summa cum laude. Amalia White, cum laude. Olivia Magdarilla Gonzalez. James Michael Sharp. Dustin Rivas. Stephen Sumi. Marissa Bremer, summa cum laude. Rhiannon Marie Morris. Grace Herrera. Caleb Benjamin Quimby, cum laude. Emily Ann Brennan. Haley Marie Cooney Kroll. Alyssa Wisman, cum laude. David Chitwood. Carrie M. Kaminsky, cum laude. Damon Renee Davis. Kristen Rianne Williams. Brennan Ray Medill. Danielle Cordova. 
Justin J. DiProspo. Christina A. Bustamante. David Gilmore. Khadija Vihil. Wonder Wachara. Joshua Abshir, summa cum laude. Catherine Brianna Ward, magna cum laude. Alyssa Janine Dubovsky, magna cum laude. Veronica Joy Harris. Kelsey Cantwell. Cami Lee Rogers. Ruby Martinez. Michael Ryan McCoy, magna cum laude. Lauren Yanina Patrick, magna cum laude. Aisha Rachel Mitchell, cum laude. Justin B. Pierce. Marissa Ann Bickle, cum laude. Jordan Hicks. Joshua Lyons, magna cum laude. Samantha Louise Rosenbaum, summa cum laude. Kevin Shaw Phillips, magna cum laude. Alexander Geisler. Ernest F. Ripley. Zachary Bellu. Mia Zanoni. Jeffrey R. Wright. Amanda L. Lauderbach. Cassidy Kaylin Bobbitt, cum laude. Eduardo Loero Velasco. Refugio Eduardo Loero Velasco. <laughs> Shayla Mendoza Damazo, summa cum laude. Blake Aaron Nelson. David Tan. Nicholas Garcia. Adrian Rose Brooks. Brandy Marquette. Taylor Ann Leonard. Nicholas Adam South, summa cum laude. Molly Georgia Watkins. Sierra Crean. Destiny Sarah Escobar. Kiera Barba. Elizabeth Jordan Watts, summa cum laude. Reardon. Seth M. Reardon. Excuse me, Sean M. Reardon. Corey Tate Sowers, summa cum laude. Courtney Odessa Parsons, cum laude. Megan Elise Forts.
Samantha McLam. Chase Morgan Sims Ekram, summa cum laude. Michelle Robertson. Morgan Haney. Taylor Jane Cecil, summa cum laude. Miranda Elena Rico. Caitlin Kanoyalani Agus. Savannah Ann Cohagen. Bradley Bowen Ellis, cum laude. Marcus Nybert. Caden Shuttleworth. Ricky Felix. Tabor Scott Anderson, magna cum laude. Catherine Janice. Justin Lee Boyd Yates. Natalie Marie West, magna cum laude. Wilford. Keegan Wilford, summa cum laude. Heather Colleen Zip, summa cum laude. Barbie Harrison, summa cum laude. Austin Dale Reed, summa cum laude. Liston. Christina Liston, summa cum laude. Brandon Presley Zinzer, summa cum laude. Catherine Haley Weddington, summa cum laude. Vance K. Purdue II, summa cum laude. Bisbee. Charles Bisbee, summa cum laude. Andrew South. We will now award the diplomas to our CMU-CU Engineering Partnership Program graduates, Andrew South. We will now award the graduate certificate in education. Karen A. Egan. Stephanie Ann Williams. We will now award the Master of Arts in Education. Wendy P. Bolain. <laughs> Shannon May Carroll. Douglas R. Craig. <laughs> Shelley Lynette Bond. Rihanna Kissner. Christine Reeves. <laughs> S 
Sabrina Irene Jackman. Sheila M. Adamson. Emily Ann Humans. Mitchell Wyatt. We will now award the Master of Science in Nursing. Brandy Salter Austin. We will now award the Doctor of Nursing Practice. Heather Janae Smith, hooded by Dr. Sandy Nadelson. <laughs> Sherry V. Kemble, hooded by Dr. Kathleen Hall. Jessica Harrington, hooded by Dr. Lucy Graham. At this time, Trustee Bob Wilson will introduce our most distinguished degree graduates and lead us in the turning of the tassel. I hope so too. Page two. Yes. Yeah, we're all good. Well, are you about ready to get out of here? This morning we have 20 members of this Winter 17 graduating class who have earned a perfect 4-0 average. I'll read your names and if you'll come forward, we'll hold their applause until everyone's here. And the 20 of you, please stay up in front of the stage. That would be great. Spencer Adelman. That's all right. Applause as much as you want. Jody Allison. Charles Bisbee. Amanda Bornschnegel, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Marissa Bremer, Bachelor of Business Administration. Patricia Gibson, Bachelor of Fine Arts. Abigail Gonzalez, Bachelor of Arts. <clears throat> Barbara Harrison, Bachelor of Arts. Catherine Herzer, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Alethea Lewis, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Christina Liston, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Vance Purdue, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Austin Reed, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Nicholas South, Bachelor of Arts. Elizabeth Watts, Bachelor of Arts. Kelsey Weaver, Bachelor of Science.
Catherine Weddington, Bachelor of Arts, <clears throat> Keegan Williford, Bachelor of Science, Brandon Zinser, Bachelor of Arts, and Heather Zip, Bachelor of Applied Science. It's become our tradition here that these folks will lead the graduating class in turning the tassels. Graduates, please rise. If our 4 graduates would please lead in the turning, three, two, one. Thank you. If you'll please remain standing. I want to thank our vocalists for their performance today, as well as Dr. Arthur Hool, Rowdy Bass Band Director Dr. Jonathan Hinkle, and Mace Out Loud Director Mr. Jeremy Franklin, along with members of Mace Out Loud, Brooklyn Buer, Caitlin Craig, Alyssa Gose, Quiana Q. McElroy, Heidi Snyder, Lauren Valdez, and our Rowdy Brass Band, who will lead us, and especially our graduates and newest Colorado Mesa University alumni, in the CMU fight song. Lyrics can be found on the last page. Lyrics, lyric, lyrics can be found on the last page of your graduation ceremony, graduation program. And I think they're going to put them up on the board, too. So whenever you guys are ready. Watch. Brooklyn, do not move. Watch the board. Because you're going to trip if you move. <laughs> Mesa Mavericks, Mesa Mavericks, long may we live. Show us that spirit. Fight for the win. Fight, fight, fight. Pull it. And we shall see our Mavericks marching on to victory. CMU Mavs! CMU Mavs! CMU Mavs! And with and with that I and with that I declare the 2017 winter commencement ceremony closed. Congratulations. Yeah.